we've got Mr. Mr. Rob McDougall coming on our podcast very soon. But uh, Rob is one of the uh, forefront uh, uh, sports artists uh, in the country, and if not in the world. Uh, you've seen his work, and not even known it was him, I'm assuming. So I just had a few conversations with Rob leading up to this this podcast, and uh, he's been dropping names like uh, Don Cherry, Walter Gretzky, Matt Sundin, uh, gosh, Dale Howard, Chuck Howie Meeker, Theo Fleury, Gary Bettman, Bob McKenzie. Um, th- th- this guy's been around the scene for a long time, met a lot of people, and, and he's a quality guy himself. So uh, nothing but good things to say about, uh, about Rob. So uh, without further ado, we put something together for you guys to give you an idea just uh, just what kind of guy he is and, and who he's tangled up with. So enjoy. This is the trailer for the Rob McDougall episode. Peace out. I did a lot of limited edition prints back in the 80s and 90s, but I haven't done one in years. Like this particular painting right now, we may make we we may make 91 prints signed by Johnny, but that all depends on how this goes. I could still shit the bed, uh, you know. That's why I wear diapers. <laughs> I really love using symbols that are Canadian. I have this thing about painting on leaves. Yeah. I think that the theme of you being a Canadian, Team Canada, all that, playing for the Leafs, maybe being the captain someday. You never know. You know what I decided to do at the 11th hour is uh, drop an oak leaf into that paint. So I like it's, that. It's full of uh, maple leaves, and we gotta, except that I've got an oak leaf in there, so it's kind of like that. Oak full time. Bears, yeah. Bolo. Yeah, but that's you know awesome. What? I like that. Painting on leaves is not an easy thing. That's I wouldn't lumpy, think so. <laughs> it's lumpy. I wouldn't think. There's I would, one of your teeth that's got a, a branch going through it. <laughs> I also. I do got a nice star, scar on my top well, lip, so, caught, you know, I yeah. <laughs> the first time I met you, yeah. you were. Uh, you were trying out for my Pee team. And the big issue that was coming up was the fact that you're only eight years old and you're trying out with not just uh, 10 year olds but some 11 year olds because they're in their second year of Pee Wee. Yeah. Then I got the call from the executive saying, like they said to me, yeah. you're not going to take John Tavares, are you? And I went, well, I don't know. He's looking pretty darn good in the tryouts. He says, yeah, but he is eight years old. He's going to get hurt. And I said, look, if the kid can play, and he's better than the other players that I've got out there. I'm going to take him. But I got another guy. I can't use his name either. But he's trying out too. I pitted you against this kid on every drill. A loose ball drill. Mm-hmm. Passing drill. Yeah. Shooting drill. Um, every checking drills. Yeah. And I kept looking over to Troy going, Johnny won. Johnny won. Yeah. So uh, at the end of it, um, I... I said, I'm, I'm taking Johnny. Hmm. You don't even remember yeah. this, but this was after your first year playing with me for the Peewees. I was coaching my Oakville single A team, mm-hmm. and you were on the ice. It was the very, very first time I'd ever seen you play hockey. I just remember standing at the glass, you take the face off, and there's a skating, and you're t- trying to drive to the net. You take a shot, and then you dove onto the goalie. Yeah. You don't probably remember this. So you dove onto the goalie, <laughs> but looked over at me, and I just went, boom. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty funny because that was the first time I, I thought, wow, he, he plays lacrosse in a hockey game because that's what he did in lacrosse. He just yeah. went, boom. It was great. It was great to see him like that. But that's when I felt like I really took off because – Played Pee Wee, played Bantam, then our group to play junior, right? And and that's when I really took off was in midget. I felt like I felt like I matured physically. Do you remember going to the finals and we had a, a dead time where we needed to get a game in somehow? Uh-huh. So I arranged a game with yeah. the yeah. and John My Johnny uncle Black. Came out. Yeah. Johnny Black was yeah. suspended. So yeah. I called your uncle and said, yeah. Hey John, I said, I'm gonna give you an opportunity yeah. to play with little Johnny if he wants. I said, Come on, you're gonna have a lot of fun. Yeah. I said I said, I got a guy suspended. I got a spot for you. They got a couple of guys that are 
retired cross guys. Yeah. You want to play with Johnny? I think he'd really like that. All I'll, I'll never, for, I'll up. never forget that because that, that was cool? the coolest thing ever to like play with my uncle. So yeah. that was, I was, I'll never forget that. So you know what he said? Uh, this is, the, this is the absolute truth. He'll tell you that at the end of the first period, you remember we we're at the Maple Grove Arena at the yeah. end of the first period. We all went outside because it was so hot. Okay. And um, your your uncle walks up to me and goes, "Holy shit." You didn't tell me it was that good. That's exactly what he said. Obviously, you were the MVP in midget both years, and you're two years younger than me. That's why I felt like when I like I came up in Pee Wee and Bantam, it was yeah. midget that when I really kind of yeah. excelled. Well, I moved you from the crease yeah. to the shooter. Yeah. And that's when it kind of opened it up. Everything yeah. just went boom. Yeah. I'm a genius. Yes, you are. But the Bantam, the Bantam A championship is definitely the highlight yeah. of our time. That was an amazing team and just the run. Remember and the progression, the yeah. I'll never forget because from Pee Wee to the first few times you played with me in Peterborough, yeah. um, getting smoked, to then like we went to qualifiers that year, beat them both, yeah. and had a good provincials we didn't win, then to finally do it in Bantam right. over the next couple of years was like was awesome. So It's still one of those moments. Yeah, I'll never forget. It's yeah. cool. Yeah, I mean, I, you've had you've had so many great things happen to you. It's good to see. You've got a great wave. I do. Baby She's a whippy gal. Way. She's a whippy oh, gal. I got something I wanted to show. <laughs> give you. Just hang on. Just Thank wear you. a girl doesn't matter. Yeah, that's awesome. Once, that's an amazing gift. Once they gift. get that in their hand, that's amazing. The magic happens. That's amazing. I, that's that cool? awesome. That's so cool. Go right in their bedroom today. So. This is special for me because obviously our connection, Oakville, Lacrosse, so this is pretty cool. Wow, that's real talent right there. That's real, real, real hands and tight. Moment, I had one of those moments where I put the leaf in front of the Paul Henderson thing, and the arms were in the air, and the feet, and I'm going, I can turn this leaf into a hockey player.